Hey guys. So this is gonna be my first kind of like show you guys have to do something video I guess. <laughs> um I'm gonna teach you guys a little tip trick actually. Um on how to keep your eyelashes curled all day long. You have that problem with me where I curl my lashes and by the time I get to school or by the time it reaches halfway through the school day, my eyelashes aren't curled anymore and they're going back downwards because my eyelashes naturally they grow downwards. And they don't curl upwards, which is very unfortunate for me, but whatever. But if you have that problem like me or you just want your eyelashes to stay curled. Um, I have a couple of tricks for you guys. So the first trick is going to be with a hair dryer. So you're going to take your hair dryer, put it on medium to low heat, and hold it about an inch or two away from your eyelash curler. And you just want to kind of rotate it around the heat, like the heat source. And then you're going to test it on your skin to see if it's too hot and really on your wrist or on your cheek are like the best areas to do it. I'd rather you test it on your wrist first and then move to your cheek because if you burn, at least you burn on your wrist, not your cheek. But I hope no one gets burned doing this. So test it on your wrist first and then test it on your cheek. You kind of want to be a little quick. Then curl your lashes. And then you can reheat it again for the other eye if it's cooled down. Another trick is using a candle or a lighter. And what you want to do is take your lighter or your candle, hold it, kind of feel where the heat is first. My heat is, you don't want it to be like too warm or too hot, so right here is good for me. And you basically want to pretend like it's a rotisserie chicken. Ooh, and don't drop it, of course. But, and not blow it out. <laughs> But you want to rotate it around um, your flame and go back and forth and then test it, cut your lashes. And then another tip or a tip is if you have short or not short but thin lashes like I do you want to stick with a formula that's drier and usually waterproof is drier because it has more wax in it and will keep your lashes curled better um, but you also want to make sure your bristles are really kind of like thin and spread apart evenly you don't really want one of the wands that twists like this and that are thicker because it just won't help your lashes out at all. It will make your lashes clumpy and if you like that clumpy look then you can use this but I would suggest using a drier formula where the bristles are spread farther apart. Um, this CoverGirl lash Lash mascara is actually really good. It's one of the first mascaras I started using when I first put on makeup, which was actually my 10th grade year. And um, another good mascara for us people with short lashes, well, for me it works, is the Benefit Bad Gal Lashes. This is a more expensive brand. It's $20 a tube. This was, I want to say, 7 or $8, maybe even less, at a drugstore. So you got your brand brand name and your drugstore mascara for short lashes. For longer lashes, you guys can use, I mean, not long, thicker lashes. You guys basically use whatever you want because you guys are blessed with that. Um... And you can use this kind of bristle. It will help your lashes extend them and make them thicker. And 
You can also, I mean, you can use this. But this, I think, works for both long and short lashes. Because my sister has, I keep saying long or short, thick or thin lashes. My sister has thicker lashes and she uses this and it still looks good. So, again, this is your drugstore. You can use Great Lash by Maybelline for as a drugstore one if you want to. Or you can use Bad Gal, the Benefits Bad Gal Lash for brand name. And the only thing I have for this, the um, Great Lash by Maybelline, is that it is a pain in the butt to take off. Like, I don't know what they put in this. It's like super, super waterproof. So, I mean, it's really, really hard to get off. I... That I really rarely use this. If I would wear it, I would wear it on my bottom lashes. But that's pretty much it because they're so hard to get off. And another thing is that, ladies, we cannot keep our makeup on overnight because it causes premature wrinkles. And your eyelashes, if you keep mascara on and sleep with it overnight, it will cause your eyelashes to dry out. And... That's just not good. It causes your lashes to break, to fall out, and it's just really bad for your lashes. It's kind of like your hair. You need to take care of it and condition it. And if you guys want to see a video on how to condition your lashes, then like this video and comment below. And also you can comment below on anything else you guys want to see, any other tutorials I can do for you guys. So I hope you guys have a great day and a great weekend. Bye.